Hey guys, so I'm back with a super easy updo that takes about an hour to do. This updo is kid approved and it is adult approved. So if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. So I'm starting out on freshly washed hair. Her hair is damp and it's been washed with the Taylor Beauty Coconut Shampoo and Conditioner. And I followed up by adding the Grow Thick Oil to moisturize her hair. So I'm going in and I'm sectioning her hair. I'm focusing on sectioning her hair for the faux bangs. So her faux bangs are going to go from half of one side to her hair all the way to the other. So now I'm just adding my moisturizing mist onto her hair to dampen her hair and to add moisture. This is going to aid in moisture throughout the week. So now I'm focusing on creating her twist. So I am laying her edges with the Taylor Beauty Jamaican Black Castor Oil Edge Control. This edge control not only lays the edges, but it helps grow the edges. And I am using my Taylor Beauty Perfect Coils Curling Jelly to define and twist her hair. As you can see, it does aid in defining the hair and it's going to give it a lot of shine when I go ahead and twist it. This is also going to give the twist that bohemian look by twisting it halfway through and just coiling the ends. So let's see how I go ahead and I create these lustrous twists. <laughs> so I start by sectioning off and I'm just adding a little bit of edge control to help hold and tame the edges and I am twisting and I'm defining as I twist. So as you can see, every time I twist about two or three times, I kind of just smooth the ends of the twist. This is going to help define it, it's going to help it stay neat and it's also going to help create those beautiful curls at the end of the twist. So you can either stop right here and define a twist if you wanted to have a nice pretty bohemian look. These That look kind of reminds me of goddess locks. So that's kind of what it does look like throughout the week. Um, but I just went in a little bit closer to the bottom and I did go ahead and coil the ends of some of them and I defined some of them as well. Here's what the twist looks like. As you can see, the hair has a lot of bounce and movement, and that's because the perfect coils does give the hair a nice amount of weight. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to concentrate on the corn rolls for the updo. If you don't know how to corn roll hair, you, you have one of two options. You can either flat twist the hair or you can corn roll. This is a great hairstyle to practice corn rolling and since I didn't corn roll all the way to the ends this did eliminate a lot of time so once I got closer to the ends of the hair I just went back and twisted it um, the twists are essential for creating the updo because you want the ends to all be the same So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to do the same thing throughout that side of the hair. I'm adding some edge control to the top and then I'm, I'm braiding it and I'm twisting the bottom. So once that whole side is finished braided and twisted, I go back and I just go ahead and twist the middle of her hair. Now, if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know I do not comb the hair. So as you can see, I only use the tail end of the rat comb to do the parting. And um, I don't comb her hair because it's been combed during the detangling process. I get a lot of questions on how her hair is so long. And I think that's the biggest thing is that I try to stay away from the comb. So on the opposite side, I'm just doing the same exact thing. I'm adding the edge control. Now, if you want to get a better hold and even more shine, you can go ahead and add edge control to the sides of your braids. Um, a lot of stylists do this, and I find this method to be helpful for me as well because it helps the braids stay longer, and it does give it a nice, slick look. So once I get to the bottom of 
the hair I go ahead and I start braiding upwards meeting the other braid and then I'm going to twist any hair that I didn't get in the middle so here we are we are completed summer is up from her nap and here's what it looks like you have braids on the side and you have your twist in the middle now it's up to you how creative you want to get with this hairstyle you can either leave it down um, for me I like to do an updo as you guys know during the summer we did no protective hairstyles so now we are back in full protective hairstyle mode and um, I'm just going to really focus on not leaving too much of her ends down. So what I'm doing is all the twists that were left out in the middle, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to twist it up doing a flat twist. This doesn't have to be perfect because you're not really going to see that part. So now I'm taking each braid and I'm taking one from each side and I'm going to crisscross it. And then I'm going to take a bobby pin. And I'm going to hide the bobby pin inside the flat twist that I created. Whenever you're using bobby pins on your child's hair, I strongly recommend you ask, do they feel the bobby pin? Does it hurt? Is it too tight? Because you don't want to cause a lot of tension on the hair. So I'm just going to crisscross until I get to the top. The cool thing that I like about this hairstyle, it is a transition hairstyle. So once the rays start getting a little bit frizzy and the twists start getting frizzy, I unravel the twist and this makes a great twist out updo. And once I get to the top, I start creating a bun. And you want to be careful with those bobby pins. Now you can either do a bun at the top or you can leave it hanging down. I've done this hairstyle before with it hanging down. But this time I did want to create a cute little ninja bun. So that is the hairstyle. It was super, super easy. I did this in about an hour. I want to say about an hour and 15 minutes. But she loves this hairstyle. As you can see, she said it reminds her from Belle of Beauty and the Beast. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you do decide to recreate this hairstyle, make sure you tag me on social media. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Bye! <laughs>